Hi guys and welcome to the dungeon preview I'm going to be doing on Waycross Manor. So, now they've released it so that people can actually do the dungeons now. So I'll be doing Waycross Manor. I've literally just joined a random group and I'm going to hop in with these guys. Although it says they're in the same guild, this is like the alpha guild which everybody joins. But yeah. So the talents, I'll be playing Disc on the Magara. Orc priest. I decided to do the Magara because obviously it's new that orcs can be priests. So I'm running disc because I wanted to do a bit of, you know, extra damage kind of thing. So I'm just going to Shadow Word Pain all the targets. Make sure the tank's healed. Just Shadow Word Pain them all. Give a shield to this guy. For some reason as well, I can cast unlimited shields. Like I can cast one after another. Not sure if that's intended, but yeah. So we're skipping these ads and on to the next one. So I've got the Power Word Radiance, which burst heals people and applies atonement to them. So I think I'm going to be using that quite regularly. So the talents I'm using, I'm using Schism, Schism, just so that when we're on bosses, I can do really, really big damage on them. So if I put Schism on them, I can, um, you know, I can do really, really big damage to them. So it seems like we're going this way to um, the Gluttony guy. So just put shields on all these guys. Shadow Word paint the targets up. So as you can see, I'm kind of... Oh, okay, we've already got... I think this is a boss, I'm not sure. I'm just going to use Power Word Radiance, and I probably should use my buff. Apparently Halo now damages like the old school Halo, so I'm going to see if that could ninja pull. Yep, that's ninja pull like everything. So now I'm just going to give a shield, burst of light, going to do some pain suppression. And use Luminous Barrier, because I'm stunned. As soon as I'm out of this, I'll use Luminous Barrier. So everyone gets healed. So now everyone's being healed. I'm going to use Powered Radiance, so everyone gets healed. As soon as I'm out of this, I'm going to use Rapture, and then put a shield on the tank. So he's just got a really, really big shield, which like won't be able to be chunked through. So I'm just going to be smiting these targets, so everyone gets healed. And there we go. So we go, go through the talents. So yes, yeah, Shizm, because obviously it attacks the enemy soul with a surge of shadowy light, dealing 1,700 shadow damage. Just quickly heal up all these guys. Penance him, just so he stays alive. Because Penance is a really big heal, so he's probably not going to die if I put it on him. I probably need to use Master Spell here. Use Halo just to heal everyone up. Put shields on everyone. Holy Schism. Penance the guy. Penance. So it seems these removers do a lot of damage. I'm just going to smite him down. So everyone gets healed. So sometimes as disc you just got to realise when you're free to smite. And you can just heal everyone up with a smite. Or if it's you have to start shielding everyone. I'm just going to use Radiance here so everyone's held up. So yeah. Just gonna shield everyone up. Then put Shadow of Pain on them. So yeah, um, my next talent I'm taking is Powered Soldier, so that when I heal, shield someone, their their movements increased. Next Mindbender, just so I can get m a mana back when it's attacking, and it'll deal damage to the bosses. Just use Powered Radiance. I'm gonna be careful not to use Halo here, because I'm pretty sure it'll pull everything. So you can still cast Penance and move, which is good. Just going to put shields and everything. Just Penance that. Power Word Radiance. So yeah, next I'm using Shining Force, just so that it's just an extra precaution if the tank's getting hit pretty hard. I can just, you know, Shining Force like that. Just all of them away and, you know, the damage is down. Just going to use Radiance here so everyone gets healed. Seems as though everyone's taking damage. Should probably be using Smite more, but, you know, can't really. Next, I'm using Origin just because I'm going to shield literally like every single one of my targets. So if they're getting healed by 600 every time I use it, it's just pretty, pretty good. Just dot this maggot. 
Next, you probably don't want to be using Halo, but I just thought I'd take it again just because I like the spell. As you can see there, that's the boss, so I'm going to be careful not to use Halo here. I'm going to use my shield on the tank. Ooh. I think he pulled too much. Yeah. Going to use my penance here just to keep him up. And I'm going to be using Shining Force here just to knock him all the way. Oh, I'm silenced. I'm going to use my Powered Barrier, Pain Suppression, and Heal. And Penance him. So as you can see, that was very, very balls to the wall. I'm not sure how we survived that, but yeah. Powered Radiance. You level one up. I'm going to use Mindbender here just so I can get the mana. Just get, just try and get the full mana use out of it. Just heal everyone with Holy Nova. And then I'm just going to smite these targets. Silenced. It's pretty bad. Going to Penance the tank because his health's pretty low. So when I use a Penance, it's literally just, you know, like a full health heal. But once I use it, they'll be up full. Just hopefully they let me get my mana back. I'll just let him take a few hits and I'll heal him. So my men bed is on a one minute cooldown, so I should actually be using it more. From what I've read on the guide, you have to like dodge these green pools and he'll suck them in. As you can see, we're doing pretty big damage. Should probably be DPS and for want to get the full use and dot it up. You're going to use Schism so I can do big damage. And just smite it down, use Penance on him. Tenderize, so we've got to dodge that. Yeah. Tenderize. Ah, so it's kind of like a Garrosh Annihilate. Where he'll do it on all sides of the room. So we'll do another Tenderize on here. So I think it's just random places. Cool Servant. So I think this is what you got to kill. Until it reaches him. Or he eats it and gets HP back. But it's taken quite a long time. But as you can see, he's, he's got one of the new Kulteras models. No loot. I'm just going to quickly change a talent because Halo's doing pretty much nothing for me at the moment. Oh. So Purge the Wicked, I've done that, is so when I Shadow Word Pain a target and I Penance it, it will give Shadow Word Pain to all the targets. So use the Purge of the Wicked so they're getting fire damage. And then everyone's getting healed off that and I just be spamming Smite. Put Penance into her so everyone's getting damaged and healed. So yeah, that's why I used Orishian. Maybe Le Lenient is a bit better, but I just don't like it. And I just like Luminous Barrier just so that I'm giving a fat shield to everyone. So I think, I believe this is the Catacombs. And if you saw my video on where I explored Waycrest Manor, um, I couldn't get to that part with the glitch I found. So yeah, I'm not sure where we're going next. It seems you can do this in any, any particular order, I'm not sure. But we'll see. I'm going to use Mindbender here. I'm going to just get ready to shield the tank because it looks like he's going to take big damage. I'm going to get ready to Master Spell as well. So, I'm just going to give... So, as you can see there, we've purged the Wicked. I'm dotting up everything. And since everything's going to be dotted, I'm going to do such big um, healing on the group because... All these guys are getting damaged by me, and every time I deal damage, it heals everyone else. So it seems we're getting shot from somewhere. Just going to penance him, just so it gets healed. So this is the Soulbound Goliath, so this is one of the one of the bosses. So I'm just going to try and save up my mana. Fawn Barrage, so that seems she's doing that, so it's knocking us up. Just going to dot all these... Should probably be using my ratio as well to get more haste. Just gonna use master spell. Just gonna just gonna pop luminous shield so everyone's getting a uh, barrier just at the start so I can DPS freely. Gonna put mind bender down so I get mana back. So soul harvest increased damage done. I'm just gonna shield the tank and penance him. Ah, so it seems you have to burn him. So I'm just gonna dot him up. Luminous power word radiance just so everyone gets healed. 
and penance. So it seems I'm stunned, so I don't know how this stun gets broken. Oh, it's a damage, so it's kind of like a Marogar stun on, on ICC, where you have to kill it to break it. Just going to heal everyone else up. So you probably want to do that one pretty quickly on, on Mythic and stuff like that. Just going to smite him, and then finish him off with a penance. So someone's going to get... So it seems you have to run him into fire so he doesn't get increased damage, but it seems a pretty simple boss. Oh, I got some shoulders. Put them on, see what model they've got. So they got one of the newer models that looks pretty, pretty good. So I think we'll either go into the Heartsbane Triad next or Lord and Lady R Waycrest. So I'll see. Let's see what stats it's had intellect and stamina. So I don't think they've added a lot of. See, it's got no secondary stats, so I'm not sure what they'll do there, but I assume these shoulders are better. So that door's still locked, so I don't think you can get to Lord and Lady Waycrest or Garok Tool until you've killed the first three. And it seems you can do the first three in any any order particularly. But yeah, gonna see if I've got any toys I can use. Nope, no. Just gonna give the tank some speed. Just gonna do a good old purge the wicked on them, and then use a penance so they all get died. Silence, that's bad. Just gonna give everyone a shield. Purge the wicked, and then penance so they all get affected by it. All these guys silence. So if there was a bit of burst damage, it would probably be a big thing. Because you know, obviously, when I'm silenced, I can't heal. But yeah, it seems Purge the Wicked's a decent, a decent, uh, a decent talent. Just the fact that when I penance and add, everything's going to get uh, Purge on the Wicked. So it's really, really good. Just going to use Power Word Radiance just because it's a quick heal on everyone. But yeah, you kind of want to be using your penance, just saving it just in case the tank gets low. That I'm retarded. So if the tank gets low, um, you should be using penance on him like now. It'll just get back up to full. And it just gives you some time to chill, because obviously he's not going to die when you're channeling penance into him. So channel penance into him. So I'm not sure where we're going now, because upstairs is probably where Lord and Lady Ravenquest is. Ravenquest, sorry. I can't say Raven. Ravenquest. Penance quickly. Shield and just smite him down. Just give everyone shields. So this was where the glitch was. I'm just going to see if I can jump off again. Yeah, you still can. So I'm just going to dot everything up. And just smite her down. But as you can see, especially when I'm dealing damage and because of the dot, everyone's getting healed for loads. So it's mainly what you like if you've got the balls as disc to just go full DPS and not worry about everyone's health and just hope that your smite heals them up enough or if you're, you know, micromanaging your shields and everyone and just making sure everyone's going to stay alive. Because before in Cataclysm and stuff, you could just be a all out damage disc where you could just smite and you know that no one would die because you're healing so much. Because they made a few changes and that you actually have to, you know, like cast spells and shields now. So this is the triad. So I think from what I found, you have to, you know, DPS the one which doesn't have the shield. I'm just going to use Powered Barry here just so everyone's getting healed, shielded up. Just going to penance the tank just so he stays alive and then I'm just going to dot up everyone. And use Smite. Gonna use power word radiance. Power word radiance again, just so everyone's getting healed up. Then I'm just gonna put shields on everyone. Gonna use my purge the weak and then penance up. So since everyone's like around about decent health, I'm just gonna start smiting. Because it doesn't cost a lot of mana, it's really really good. I'm gonna use a penance on her now, just before she goes in. So as you can see, each of them get shields. I'm just going to spam Holy Nova now and use Power Word Radiance just so everyone's getting healed. So you can see everyone low in the moment. Hopefully, yeah, my membership come off and come down. So as what you want to be doing really now is what I can see is you get 
mind bender off cooldown pretty quickly. So you just pretty much want to be using that um, on cooldown. So as you can see, I run out of mana, just quickly use that. Powered Radiance just to heal everyone up. And she should be dead soon. So whichever one steals the Iris will, you know, that's the one you go in. But as you can see, when it's when they've still got haven't got the iris, they can still, you know, cast spells. So there may be some stuff you want to interrupt and whatever. Um, we'll just quickly kill off this last boss. So I'm going to end this video at this boss, and I'll continue it in the next one for the last two, Lord and Lady Waycrest. So yeah, just look out for that. I'm not sure if this is bugged, because it says the bosses aren't defeated yet. Hopefully they are, do become defeated. I think it might end once Lord and Lord Waycrest is... Stop speaking. Yes, yeah, so there you go. Now we can loot them. But yeah, I'm going to quickly end this video here and watch the next one for the continuation, which will be.